Dios. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm doing well at home. Okay, that's nice. Um, have you done anything interesting today? Yes, I was doing some exercise in, in a city web. In a side web, sorry. Okay, that's nice. Um, and what about the rest of you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Have you done anything interesting today? Yes, teacher. I work today. You work today? Yes. Okay. How was your day? Tired. Are you still working on the contention center? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, but tomorrow you have your day off, right? No. Is is my ah, day today, off? Today. Today. Yes. Yeah. Today is Tuesday. Yeah. Is your day off? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I I work. I work. Okay, today you were supposed to be at home, but you went to work. Mm, yes. Wow. Yes. And you will work tomorrow too? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, teacher. Wow. And the rest of you? Good night, teacher. Good night, Gloria. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Thanks for your help. Yeah, you're welcome. Could you listen to the audio? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's nice. And what about the rest of you? Have you worked on the platform? Yes, teacher. Was everything okay? Yes. Ah, thank you for the for your help. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. See. Nice. Uh, today we will discuss that topic, the object pronouns. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, just to make a review. Um, did you do the homework? You had homework today. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I Let think. Us, okay. Uh, you were supposed to work on this because we were studying um, comparatives, right? Yes, yes, yes. And I, I sent you this picture so you could complete the conversations, right? I forgot. No. <laughs> you forgot the homework. Yes, I forgot. Ah. Okay, don't worry. I know that most of you are probably working and that's okay, don't worry. Uh, we will solve it right now. Um, just to finish with the topic of comparatives. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, the first conversation in number one, let's see. Um, which of these cha jackets do you like more? I prefer the leather one. Did it, uh, well, it says the design is and it says nice. So what is the answer? Nicer, then? nicer than. Nicer than? Nicer. Mm, only nicer or nicer than? Nicer. It's nicer. It's nicer. It's nicer. It looks. Okay. Y luego dice it looks and we have expensive. ¿Qué hacemos con expensive? More expensive. More expensive. Vamos a ver si estaban correctos. Yes. Uh -huh. I prefer the leather one. The design is nicer and it looks more expensive than the wool one. Okay, good. Now, number two. Let's check. It says, these t-shirts are nice. Which one do you prefer? 
I like the green and white. One better, the colors are pretty pretty. Prettier. And then we have attractive. It's more attractive than the black one. Yes, you are right. You can see the answers here. The colors are prettier. And we have tenemos un punto ahí terminó. It's more attractive than the gray and black one. The gray and the black one. Okay. Black one. Then we have this about the uh, earrings. Earrings. Uh -huh. Which earrings? Like Which better? earrings do you like better? I, I like the silver I ones. They are. Bigger. Bigger. bigger, they are bigger, bigger than the gold um, ones. And, and the champion, uh -huh. they, 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 they are bigger, they are cheaper. cheaper. Oh. Let's see, no puedo arrastrar esto, no sé qué le pasó a esto. Okay, but the, the answer is they are. Bigger, bigger than, than the gold ones. ones. And they are? Cheaper. 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 Uh -huh. They are cheaper. cheaper too. That will be the, the correct answer. Okay. Um, after that, we have, um, well, in this, we finish that topic and then we continue. With the next thing, we will talk a little about different kinds of music. Mm. Uh -huh. We have some vocabulary here. Okay, those are the most common this type of music. Okay, we have rock, and then others, and like we have classical, jazz. Gospel, hip hop, R&B, pop, country, and new age. Uh, questions about this vocabulary? R&B. R&B is it stands for rhythm and blues. Mm. Uh, uh -huh. Gospel. Son rhythm and blues es una una. Uh, Es un, un género como afroamericano de las mm. viejitas, las blues. Ajá, entonces es rhythm okay. and blues, como el color. Mm. Rhythm, de ritmo, y los blues. Uh -huh. Y uh -huh. gospel es música cristiana. Uh -huh. okay. Alabanzas es gospel. Gospel, ok. Uh -huh. What's your favorite kind of music, Gloria? Gospel teacher. Gospel, nice. Yes. What about you, Miguel Angel? What's your favorite kind of music? Uh, salsa. Salsa? All right. That's nice. Maria? My favorite music is um, country and pop. Country and pop. That's interesting. Victor, what's your favorite kind of music? Hi, teacher. Hi, Victor. What's your favorite kind of music? Oh, my favorite music is uh, rock, hard rock. Okay, it's not heavy metal. It's rock, hard rock. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. What about you, Felipe? What's your favorite kind of music? Hey, teacher. My, my, favorite, my favorite music is classical. Classical? Yes. Ah, okay. It's relaxing. Esther, what's your favorite kind of music? I like rock. Rock. Okay, yeah. that's nice. 
Well, oh, this is just for the vocabulary because while well, we will discuss about different types of music and we will also review. But first, um, we are going to check a conversation. You will practice the conversation in order to practice that vocabulary. You may probably find this vocabulary in the platform because this content is related to platform. Let's repeat this word. Um, action. 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 Electronic. Electronic. Game show. Game show. Game show. Heavy metal. Heavy metal. Harder. A row. Musical. 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 Reality show. Reality show. show. Reggae. Reggae. Salsa. 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 Science fiction. Science fiction. Soap opera. Soap opera. Talk show. Talk show. Do you have any question about this vocabulary? Um, no, no, oh, opera so, teacher. Uh, soap opera es novela, Le ah, okay. es telenovela, exactamente. Tele. Telenovela, okay. ese es mm. soap opera. Si son novelas okay. de libro, ese es novel. Yeah. Novel, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. En la TV, soap opera. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question about the vocabulary? Talk show, what is teacher? A uh, talk show, los talk shows son como um, eh, el de la señorita Laura, el de la doctora Polo, el que era antes de Cristina. <laughs> Ese tipo de programas se llaman talk show. Doce corazones. <laughs> like <laughs> Telemundo. <laughs> ah, esos son talk show. <laughs> El primero que no, recuerdo fue el uh, de show de Cristina. Sí, se me fue. <laughs> Era bueno. Se nos fue la juventud. I don't like that channel. Ese fue el primer talk show que recuerdo. El más famoso show de Cristina. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A long time. Okay. Yeah, a long time ago. Okay, that's for vocabulary. And uh, to continue talking about preferences, we have a conversation. Um, you will find a conversation similar to this one in the platform. Um, I don't know por qué me deja de funcionar el mouse. Okay. Who's your favorite singer? Okay, we're going to talk about favorite singer in this conversation. Do you recognize the people in the picture? Who's this lady? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Yes, it's Taylor Swift. And this guy? Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Jay Z. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Let's listen to the conversation and then we're going to practice it. Page 23, exercise 3, conversation. Who's your favorite singer? Part A, listen and practice. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like hip-hop. Oh, yeah? Who's your favorite singer? Jay-Z. Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip-hop very much. Did you find the new vocabulary? Teacher, when yeah. the first oración que do, do you like country music? Country music? ¿Qué significa en ese contexto? Okay. Si le gusta la música country. Ajá, la música country. Ajá, si le gusta la música country. 
la música country es como de campo, ¿verdad? Como... Sí, sí. No pero son es, rancheras. Es como, pero... como la ranchera. No, no, oh. es otro género. Es pero similar. sí es como... Ajá. Es como un género vaquero, viene siendo así. Pero es mexicano. Yo me recuerdo que mi papá escuchaba tejano. bastante ese tipo de ah, música, tejano. como tejano, ajá. Así es. Uh -huh. Van a que buscar en Google a ver qué dice. <risa> <risa> yes, uh, um, I, I remember a group. It was like country music. Uh, ay, ¿cómo se llaman los de esta canción que dice Have you ever seen the rain? It's Credence. Ah, Credence. Eso será en country, yes. ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, sí. esa famosa <laughs> canción de Credence Clearwater, Have you ever seen the rain? Eso es country, right? Yes. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Okay, I sent you the conversation to your WhatsApp group. Okay. So you can practice in pairs. I'm going to set up this section in group of three so you can practice with different classmates. Remember to click join or unirse so you can get in the group. So you can practice the conversation. You already have it in your WhatsApp. Okay. Son tres, son tres. Who is missing? Aquí estoy. Okay. <laughs> Iniciamos. La dama primero. Okay. Yes. Ladies first. <laughs> yes. María, inicia usted, usted es Marisa y yo Brian. Okay. Marisa. Do you like country Marisa music, Brian. Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play to guitar? Yes, she does. She a really good musician. So what kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh, yeah. Who's your favorite singer? Jay Z. Do you like him? No, I don't like. I don't like hip hop very much. <laughs> okay, very good. Now continue. You have to participate, Victor. Say, sí, sí, con quién? I don't know. Con Carla o con María les va a tocar repetir. <laughs> Volunteer. <laughs> Ay, hey, Noé. Se acaba de incorporar, Noé. Noé. Lo voy a asignar a otro grupo para que pueda entrar. Hola. Abigail, ¿puedes oírnos? Yes. Creo que tiene problemas con el, con el audio. Eh. No, no sale. No, creo que no, porque no escucho nada de ella. Eh, si gusta, entonces, Patricia, comience nuevamente. Do you like continue? Estaba esperando que terminara. Ok. Ah, hola. Hola, hola. Abigail. 
Abigail, soy Marisa. Hola. Hola. Sí. Yo oigo algo cortado, pero no sé si es mi, soy yo o eres tú. Para. ¿Me oyes bien tú? No, no. Hola, acá ahí. Hola. Vaya, voy, soy Marisa. A ver si me escucha. Do you like country music? Sí, soy Marisa yo, ahorita. Do you like country music, Brian? Hola. Do you like country music, Brian? No, no I don't like it very much. Do you? No, I don't like yeah. it very much. Do you? Hi. Okay, hello. I see almost everyone is here just waiting for a couple of your classmates. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you could notice in this conversation, you are practicing yes, no questions. Uh, like, for example, do you, do you like rap music, Patricia? Do you like rap? Mm, no. <laughs> no. Um, no, I don't. No, I don't. I like um, music, Trova. Okay, it's Trova music. Oh, okay. Trova music, sí. Okay, good. So, uh, <laughs> I know that you can perfectly work with Yes, no questions, W questions. So we're going to make just a quick review of this topic. Okay, so this is part of the simple present. So uh, we're going to make first questions with do and that so you can review like in this example. Um, if the, I say I like chocolate, how about you? What is the question to ask about you? If I say I like chocolate, how about you? Don't you? Do you like chocolate? Yes, great. Now, I play tennis, how about you? Do you play tennis? Do you play tennis? Exactly, excellent. Pablo plays tennis. Pablo plays tennis. How about Lucia? Does she, Does she play tennis? tennis? Lucia playing. Great. Does Lucia or does she? It's the same. It's great. Now, you live near here. How about your friends? Are they live near? Mm, no, are they? 
Number to be here. Ay, perdón. Do, do. Do they. Do they. Do they live yes, here? excellent. Do they live near here? Excellent. Now, next. Oh, you speak English. How about your brother? Does he speak English? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, do sí, yoga. <laughs> I do yoga every morning. How about you? Do you do yoga every morning? Do you do yoga every morning? Do you do yoga every morning? Exactly right. Okay, then we have so often travels on business. How about Paul? Does he? Does Paul travel? Yeah. Okay. Does he often travel on business? Great. Now, I want to be famous. How about yes. you? <laughs> Do you want to be famous? Do you want to be famous? Yes, do you want to be famous? Do you want to be famous? No, I don't. Do you want to be famous? Okay, you work hard. How about Nicole? You work hard? You work hard? Nicole? Yes. Does she work hard? 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 Now, part two. We're going to make uh, questions using the words in parentheses, and we have to add the auxiliary do or does depending on the situation and we're gonna put the words in the correct order ah, those are wh questions and also we need to add the auxiliary so we have the set of words where leave your parents so the question would be where where do your parents live? Where does it work? No escuché el auxiliar. Where, where, do, do, you where do you live your parents? Acuérdense, primero la WH word, where. Después el auxiliar. Do. Después el sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Your parents. Where do your parents? Y luego el sujeto, el verbo. Live. Where do your parents live? Very good. Where do your parents live? Where do your parents live? Okay, esta no tenemos WH word, entonces es yes, no question. Y tenemos un frecuencia. Do you? Do you always get up? Always? Early? Do you get up early? Do you Do you get up early always? Ok, cuando tenemos un adverbio de frecuencia, como por ejemplo, always, vamos a poner el adverbio de frecuencia antes que el verbo. Como acá, do you. Do you always. Okay. Always. Y luego el verbo, get up early. Uh -huh. Get up early. Now, let's continue. How often? Ok. Ahí vamos how a often how do often? you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? How often? How often do you watch TV? How often? How often? How often? How often? What do you want for dinner? 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 Do you like football? Do you like football? Excellent. Do you like football? Yes. Does your brother like Does football? Your brother like Does football? Your brother like football? Excellent. Does your brother like football? 
What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Where does your sister work? Sister work. Where does your sister work? Excellent. Where does your sister work? Where does your sister do you, do you go to the movies? Do you ever go to the movies? Do you ever go to the movies? Do you ever go to the movies? Go to the movies? The meaning teacher. What? Oh, hay una pregunta por ahí. Yes. What does mean? Do you ever go? ¿Alguna vez, alguna vez ah, vas okay. al cine? Ah, ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, what about this one? What do you mean this word? Mean this word? What? Ok, what si el sujeto es do? esta palabra, voy a usar do o das. What does this word mean? What does this word mean? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? What does this word mean? Next. Teacher, yes? tengo una pregunta. Este, aquí estamos viendo que primero va la WH question, el auxiliar y el sujeto. Pero también algunas veces podemos usar primero, de, de, en lugar del sujeto, poner el verbo y después el, el, lo, lo que es el sujeto. O sea, podemos ver, no sé si podemos, si podemos ver la 10. La 10. La, la anterior. Ah, por ejemplo, aquí dice, what does mean this word? O sea, po, podemos decirlo también, what does mean this word? Se entiende, pero la estructura gramatical estaría incorrecta, aunque okay. se entiende. Sí se entiende, okay. Uh -huh. okay. pero gracias. gramaticalmente no. No es correcto. Ok, no. gracias. Ok. Then. Does it ever? Does it? Y tenemos el adverbio ever. Does it ever snow here? Does it ever snow here? Snow sería el verbo nevar. Does it ever snow here? What? Do, 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 do you usually go to the bed? What time sería la WH word? What time? Do you usually go to the bed? Yes. What time do you usually go to bed? Great. How much? How much, how much does, 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 does it cost to Mexico? To go to Mexico. Let's check. How much does it cost to call to Mexico? How much does it cost? <sighs> Do you have what do you usually have? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have usually for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, that's a good exercise to review the WH questions, yes, no questions. That's what we are going to be practicing here. And also the object pronouns. Maybe you had the chance to check the platform. Maybe you haven't had the chance. So we are going to check it and then I'm going to explain 
a little about the object pronouns too. Okay, um, here I have this, what is it? Okay. As you can see, this is part of the content that we have in the platform. We have yes, no, and WH questions we do. And also we're going to add something else, mm -hmm. object pronouns. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. Yes, no questions and WH questions. <laughs> On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries and we'll go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and us? Do. Does. Did you notice the changes that occur when we use the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay, uh, do you have any questions so far? Is the topic clear? or you need more exercises? It's clear, teacher. It's clear? Okay, great. Yes. Van bien, sienten que está fácil, necesitan que les explique un poco más. For me, I think, bueno, For que si podemos, is... tener, si podemos tener un poco más de ejercicios. <laughs> más ejercicios. Sí, sí, yeah, para practicar, pues. Exercise. Sobre the simple present does do. Ok, simple present, more exercises. Los vamos a incluir en la clase de mañana. Más ejercicios con las preguntas. Eh, como vieron en el video, son dos tipos de preguntas. Las yes, no question y las wh question. Lo que pude notar en el ejercicio anterior es que hubo un poquito de problema cuando la wh question incluye un adverbio de frecuencia. Y ese tema ya lo vieron. Tuvieron que haberlo visto en módulos pasados. Entonces mañana les voy a poner los dos tipos de preguntas, pero les voy a incluir cómo se hace el orden cuando ésta incluye un adverbio de frecuencia, porque noté que lo hacían muy bien, excelente, lo estaban haciendo bien, pero cuando la pregunta incluye un adverbio de frecuencia, ahí se me se, se confundían. Eso pude notar en el ejercicio anterior. De ahí con las que tenemos ahorita en el video está bien. Lo único que ahora incluimos algo que se llama object pronouns. 
¿Qué se le viene a la mente cuando decimos object pronouns? Objetivo de pronunciación. Uh -huh. uh, pronouns. Que pertenencia. Pronombres. Ajá, veamos. Lo que estaba en el video era la parte de la gramática, que es lo que, bueno, están en unos ejercicios acá. Esto es lo que vieron en el video. Nombres objetivos. Ajá, y vieron esta partecita, lo voy a mover para acá. Esta partecita que dice object pronouns, solo se menciona en el video. Me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. Estos se llaman object pronouns. Ok, no había mayor explicación, pero eh, para explicarles, les tengo una presentación acá. So, ay, no los quiero poner en grupo ahorita. Vamos a ver acá. Ok, básicamente un object pronoun es el objeto. ¿Qué es el objeto? Es el que recibe la acción de lo que estemos hablando, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, bueno, lo vamos a hacer con la pizarra porque algo me está impidiendo avanzar con las presentaciones en PowerPoint. El object pronoun va acompañado de, eh, dependerá de qué sujeto y es el que recibe la acción de lo que se está hablando. Por ejemplo, podemos decir, eh, no sé, no se me ocurre nada más que guns, guns, and roses is... A, a rock band. ¿Ya? Yeah. Como estamos hablando de música, Guns N' Roses is a rock band. I I am a lot. ¿Se fijan que este es el object pronoun? El them, ¿a quién se está refiriendo? A ellos. De ellos. A ellos. A ellos. Ajá. Me gustan quienes. Ellos. Them. I like them a lot. Más o menos así. Uh -huh. Guns N' Roses is a rock band. I like them a lot. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. My favorite song. Is patience. Patience. I like it. I like I it as an object pronoun. I like it. Uh -huh. El it es quien recibe la acción. Me gusta la canción. Como estoy hablando de una canción, el object pronoun es it. Vamos, acá les tengo unos ejercicios para practicar más y también está detallada una explicación de cómo los vamos a usar. Vamos a ver. Ok. Los object pronoun tienen, van dependiendo también de el cual. Well, si el sujeto es I, el object me. es me. Me. Ajá. Uh -huh. You. No you. cambia, es you. Si el sujeto es he, el you. object que lo sustituye es him. You. Si es she, el object es her. It no cambia es it too. Si el subject es we, 
El an. object an. is us. A nosotros. Ok. They. they them. El object is them. Ok. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Si yo quiero hablar de nosotros, es we. El object es us. ¿Verdad? Entonces, para darles una idea más clara, vamos a hacer una oración usando ese object. Um, borrador, borramos esto. Texto. Vamos a ver. The virus is affecting us. Ok. El object hasta a nosotros, no a nosotros. Entonces nosotros somos el objeto en esa oración. El object pronoun somos nosotros. ¿A quiénes afecta el virus? A nosotros. The virus is affecting us. Right? Y algo así van funcionando. Ok. Esto es práctica. Eh, y vamos a ver unos ejemplos. Quiero ver si puedo una vez más. Ok, esto se los voy a enviar. De todos modos está acá. Ok, por ejemplo aquí. He, el object, dijimos que es him. Y tenemos una oración aquí. This is my friend Tom. He es el sujeto, is from Britain, right? Now, I met him. ¿A quién conocí? A él. Entonces, ahora el objeto es él. I met him at the beach last summer. Ahora, she. His mother is a doctor. She works at in that hospital now. I saw her yesterday. ¿A quién vi? A ella. Ese es el object. I saw her yesterday. La vi a ella ayer. Entonces ahí está el object. Now, uh, para they dijimos el object será them. them. My parents like watching films. I often go to the cinema with them. With them. Con ellos. ellos. Uh -huh. With them. Con ellos. Okay. Another. Bob and I usually play tennis together. We are good at it. Object. Now, object. We won the match, so they gave, gave us a trophy, right? They gave us a trophy. Gave us, uh -huh, a nosotros. Nosotros recibimos esa acción, ese es el object, us. Así me refiero a nosotros. Okay. Uh, Bill and Joe are very tall. They play, te they play in the basketball team. I'm studying English now because I have an exam tomorrow, that subject. I told her the truth, but she didn't believe me. me. Uh -huh. A mí, no me creyó a mí, okay? Ahora sí ya creo que les quedó más una mejor idea de cómo funcionan los object pronouns y los subjects. Do you have any questions so far? Todo claro. All clear. Mm -hmm. All clear. Clear like water or a sorchata. Sorchata. <laughs> Let's practice with this presentation. 
Okay, for example, we're going to um, read the sentence and I'm going to click yes, so. <laughs> Paul and Bill were at the President park. President is committed. How? Okay. I didn't see them. The park. I didn't see. I didn't see them. 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 Ellos, verdad? Me. Okay. Excellent. Aha. Uh -huh. Paul and Bill were at the park, but I didn't see them. Excellent. I said no. Okay. I don't know how to do this exercise. I don't know how to do this exercise. Can, Can you, you help, help me, help me please? please? Please help me. Can you help me? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Next. We have a right. Te lo voy a enviar para que practique jugando. Van a aprender jugando. We have a right late. Could you tell me? Yes. Could you tell us what have happened? Uh -huh. Now, she loves Peter, but she doesn't love, love, love her. 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 Yeah. 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 Publish. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> she loves Peter, but she doesn't know her. Next. Mm. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah. There is a snake next to you. Next to you. Excellent. <laughs> Great job. Next. Bob is always, always late. late. Going to wait for I'm not going, going to, to wait, wait for, him. for him. For him. Yes. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Next. It's fine. This is my new video game. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Perfect. <laughs> yes, I like it. <laughs> Next. You and Rosa are my friends. I will, will invite you. Invite them. Them to my them birthday them. party. Okay, this is two e Paul. You them. and Paul are my I best my friends. I will invite I invite you. Invite you. Uh -huh. Invite them. Invite you. Ustedes, uh -huh. porque le dice tú y Paul. A ustedes, uh -huh. Los invitaré a ustedes. Okay. I will invite you to my birthday party. Okay. Uh, lo van a terminar ustedes solos. <laughs> okay. Yo pide mucho. Okay. Se los voy a mandar lo que las presentaciones para que lo practiquen en casa, lo pueden hacer desde su celular. Si tienen para, para abrir PowerPoint, lo van a poder hacer en el celular. Y si no, las pueden descargar en la computadora para jugar en la computadora y para que le vayan quedando ahí guardadas. Ok, so thank okay. you for... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Study and tomorrow we will practice more. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you for being See you tomorrow. Thank you. Have tomorrow. a good night. Bye. Good night. Well, good night. Bye. Bye.